Hi, I'm Ryan Jinks and welcome to our slackline playground. Today we're going to teach you the basics on how to slackline. I mean, the point of it's pretty simple. Walk on top of the slackline. But we're going to show you a couple tricks on how to do that so you have a better chance of not looking like this. If you want to know how to set up a slackline, we have a whole video for how to set up the Pure Slackline kits, which you can buy on pureslackline.com or on Amazon. But how do you walk on one? Let me show you. Uh, you want to set this up about chest level. So when you're on it in the middle, you're only about um, a foot or two off the ground because that's going to be your safest bet when you fly off, when you lose your balance. So a couple things you need to know before you stand up. Don't look straight down. The line's wobbling. It doesn't give you a sense of where you're at. It's important to look at the anchor or the tree in which you're walking. The other thing is you want to keep your arms out and your back straight. Because if you look like this, you're going to lose your balance. You want to keep the center of your gravity over your feet. So you need to understand what helps you balance. You have what I call little steering wheels. You obviously have your arms, you're naturally going to put those out. But you also have your hips, and you also have your ankles and your knees. But you want to keep your head centered, no matter what's going on, you want to keep your head centered and looking forward on your slack line. Now when you first put your foot on a line, it kind of has a tendency to wobble. That's because your body is correcting it at the same rate that it's going off the other way. So it's correct, overcorrecting each time. You're not going to mitigate that until you stand up. So you do need to feel somewhat stable, but you want to stand straight up and get your other foot on. And you want to use all those steering wheels that I was talking about. My hands, my hips, my ankles, but my head stays the center the whole time. So what you want to do is put your foot first, then put your weight on it. And before you take your back foot off, make sure you're okay put your foot on, then transition your weight on it. Because if you don't, you're gonna literally step off the line. Which is really funny to watch, but you could get hurt. Because if you go like this and then step before your foot's even on it, you're gonna get spanked. So, put your foot on, stand straight up, get your other foot on. Use your steering wheels, woo! And then put, all your weight on that foot, my front foot, put the next foot on. Transition your weight onto that one, put your foot on. Then transition your weight onto it. That's really important to know how to fall because you're gonna fall. Falling is part of the process. You don't, you don't want to not fight. You wanna fight to stay on the line. But at the same time, you don't wanna fight so hard that you eat the ground. So if you feel yourself going off, roll your foot off, land on your feet, and get away from the line. Now if you're really new and you really don't feel comfortable standing up yet, you just get a stiff arm from a friend and help you balance. You can progressively find your own balance and let go, but you can hang back on to them. It's even easier with two people. However, what you don't want to do is hang on to them when you're falling and then let the line snap up. And if you're hanging on to them, pop, hit them in the face. So just hang on to a finger or two so you don't jack your friends up. Another tip that'll be really helpful is to have your friend grab your phone and film you slacklining. Because you might feel like you're doing this and slacklining super smooth. But you probably actually look like this and you won't be able to see that until you see yourself in a video. So, film yourself, then watch yourself, then watch other YouTube videos of people slacklining the way it should be, and really try to get your form correct. Now there's a lot of ways to skin this cat, and you can bounce, you can do tricks, you can make it longer, you can make it looser, you can make it tighter, but the basics of slacklining are to look forward, use your whole body to help you balance, and learn how to fall controllably because falling in the park off of a slack line can get you hurt. Therefore, you probably shouldn't even slack line.